Uh, more pictures. There's a vlog. We have a vlog, guys. That's important. Now, I wonder if they've got any sort of the bugs fixed where usually there is an elevator that issue. I feel like I always have to buy. One of these. Long purchase. What's the bat I'm going to explode? What my usual Invictus thing? One last try, one last try, guys. Oh, that's went through. Now, is it in my in local inventory or yes? Yeah, I'll leave it here. You have a little gander over the Drake section. There's one. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. All right, so lift. Are you going to kill me today or not? What? What's what's going on here in the old there? Uh, that's lobby. So the model for the actual um, halls are the same. Oh, coffee bar. Guns over here. Oh, let me go check. There's usually a thing here telling me if there's different rooms or whatever the fuck. You got the lower parts. We'll have a look at some of the um, things coming out. Then we've got the top right and this one. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's just the same. But at least they know it works. Yeah, I think I think the build up of going to a whole new place, a whole new area, and you get there and it's actually the same interior is a little bit sucky. But it is what it is. It works. There'd be a heck of a lot of messing around if you completely changed it. That's what I've got down here. Oh, my God. Oh. Um, long day today because I moved the fridge this morning and I'm just not fair enough for that shit. And then my work's dead at the moment because I'm changing clients. So that is the... Um, but list of them they are like nasty, nasty to um to flying ships. They're pretty OP. I really wish um have a similar event for civvy ships. They have um the IAE, which is all ships. I know it's not just civvy ships, but the um IAE towards the end of the year, um is uh, basically all, sh all the manufacturers. Um, you you probably know this anyway. 
Um, so you'll go and it'll have civilian ships and space and um, combat ships and the whole lot. That's not until the end of the year. I do like the, the Spartan chassis stuff. I do like it. It's pretty cool. Again, though, it's one of those vehicles where I wish there was actually something to do with them. That's my biggest gripe nowadays is sometimes not so much that new ships aren't coming out. That the ships we have at the moment don't have gameplay. It does. Spawn's really cool. Alright, so this is the one I've bought. I've got this ship here. This is the Crucible. Looks pretty crazy. Just to land on it and get repairs and shit. That's a new Legion. Keep calling it Legion. It's Legionnaire. New ground physics will make it so. Yeah, agree, agree. This is the Liberator. I was tempted by this, um, just for like uh, org stuff, but it's quite expensive for what it is. In my opinion. Yeah, that's my only gripe with Orison. How long it takes to to get to um, the city and out of the city, and on top of that, Port Olosar has cool things in the way of it's got um, an armory, it's got like a gun shop, but he doesn't have a medical center, so you can't get supplies to your medical stuff in uh, Port Olosar as well. I love it. Whoa. Don't start yawning now, you bastard. Now, the Arrow and the Gladius, I, I believe, are still sort of number ones for PvP. They're still sort of um, pretty insane ships. That's it's the Gladiator, which is um, a, a bomber that will fit on a carrier. Just, again, used to have all these sort of bloody ships. Not a bad little ship, actually. Carrick Explorer, but they used to be kind of like a um, covert explosion, I believe it's law has. Um, I had a funny bug last time we used this. Every time we landed, um, because what we would do with this, because um, what we were doing with the Carrick is because it's got the, the bed that you can um, set as a spawn point. We were landing this when we were doing um, FPS missions, but every time you landed it, um, it would roll over like it's like like a pet dog or something. It would just roll over, and by the time you got back to it, it was upside down. Okay, I didn't realize this, but this is an incredibly popular ship. A lot of people use the um, the, the CAX. Um, it's not got any beds on it if you want to sleep, but it's got um, a couple of extra seats, which is quite good if you want to do. Um, uh, bunk commissions. Oh, so we ordered. This is a the uh, hawk, which is a single man. Um, so that's a single man in the way of bounty hunting. Um, you've got one chamber to capture because you got this. Then it's the Avenger Stalker, which has a few on the back. And then it's the uh, Cuts Blue. I believe they're all the ships at the moment that have the ability to um, imprison your, your bounties. Now this is one of my favourite ships the way it looks. The Terrapin looks amazing. But sadly, at the moment, it doesn't do much. Armour's not in the game, so... I found a lot of people must like the Terrapin. There you go. Yep, a lot of people all like the Terrapin. Where do you live now? What is that gown? That's a question. What are you doing? Yeah, I have an issue um, with that as well sometimes. I fly nearer to it and sometimes it shows me. But a lot of the time uh, in Orison, again, more and more bugs. It doesn't show me a place, so I just fly around the, the sort of the, the, the main 
building in the centre of it all and look for a door that's open and land in it. it and hopefully it's the right one. Uh, this is the is the F8. Noodles has one of these. So the basically it's an upgraded um, on it. Looks pretty awesome. Ugh, it looks cool, but it's so expensive and can't do what it is. Yeah, it's it's a fucking story of a life with this game, though, isn't it, mate? So many really nice ships and good ships. Yeah. So many nice, so many cool ships, but there's nothing to do with them. Like, these Hornets, I'm um, a little bit dated now. Hornets is a good ship, but they need some love. Um, This is, what again, a beautiful ship. I love using this ship. Find it really fun to use. Um... I love the, the sort of side bits of the guns. I used to use this all the time, this. Because um, basically there's a gun just here that pulls out. So you've got like two squads of ten people. You have a vehicle in the back. Um, you've got a turret top, bottom, turret in the front. Um, I love this ship. I love the flying in this ship. But unless you've got missions that require this sort of ship, it's... It's, it's pointless. Ugh. I think the Hornet won't come into its own until real carriage. Yeah, it's the same with um, uh, the Gladiator. Uh, the Gladiator, the Arrow as well to a certain degree, but the Arrow, um, just because of how quick it is, it's, it's just Arrow and the Gladius, PvP, that's it. That's, that's um, like the, the best place to be. A tough one punch you, but have zero range, yeah. Basically going to be your, your heavier Arrow. Really, I have one of these. Um, they shouldn't be, but incredibly tanky. I just I I replaced the front gimbals with um, a size up. But this is a cool ship. How many guns they got? You've got these two. Let's see what they are? No. And you've got this one here. So that's three. So that's six. If you look on top, it looks like that's a remote toy, maybe? So, one, two, three, four, five guns? Can you get into it? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guns. Literally has eight guns. No worries, Jack. That, that's going to be a mental ship when it comes out. Oh. Sorry for the onion, like I said, it's been a long day. Long day. There's more anvil tomorrow. Um, then it'll be Aegis. Aegis got some really nice ships as well. Like, I'm, I'm still torn whether I want to get... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm torn if I want to get a Vanguard again. Vanguards are really good, but I'll, if I'm getting a Vanguard, I'll probably give them a Hurricane because I don't need both of them. I don't fancy spending ten grand to get a Lightning. True, but they're going to be available in game, aren't they? Eventually. Because I don't, I didn't think there was any ship that wasn't going to be available eventually when the game comes out or something. Yeah, yeah. I know Noodles has one, but Noodles has spent so much money in this game. Hmm. Does he have the gold one? No, not yet. But after this, after Invictus, he might. Depends. He got a Kraken and stuff, but it depends what else he wants to try and get. Okay, 
Let's go get water. I'm steadily getting closer to the next level up, which is because I've been on the first concierge level. I know I'm getting closer to the next one. I oh, forget they've got these things, haven't they? Battle Dry Fire or the Javelin Tour. I don't know if the Javelin Tour has um, done that much since he last did it. Two percent off space marshal. Cool, cool. Like I'm, I'm seventy-one percent off the next tier, whatever that is, from from the very first one. So I'm like, um, on on the second second potential tier. I spent way too much time just melting, buying, melting, buying, melting, buying all the time. Took on Marshall is tier two. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. I know I'm very slowly battling my way towards that. Yeah. 